ChatGPT is becoming unstoppable. We can create graphs, change the appearance, and we can even speak to ChatGPT now. Let's jump into these five ChatGPT hacks and let's supercharge your workspace. Now this first ChatGPT hack actually allows you to change the appearance of your ChatGPT dashboard. Step number one is to head over to the Chrome Web Store and install Botrush Browser ChatGPT with better UI. What we can do is hit Add to Chrome, and then hit add extension. And now as you can see, ChatGPT looks so much different. We can head over here to the settings on the right, and then we can change the appearance of ChatGPT. You can change it from light mode to dark mode, and then there are 16 different color schemes you can also choose from. You can continue to click through here and see which ones you like the best. I really like this Quincy theme, so I'm going to keep it at that. And then you have the ability to change your font in ChatGPT, and as you can see, there are so many different fonts to choose from. I'm going to go with Montserrat. Then I'm going to hit save. And now my ChatGPT dashboard is looking much cleaner. And it still functions the exact same, which is amazing. ChatGPT hack number two is actually available to everyone for free now. And that is the custom instructions feature on ChatGPT. When you understand how to use custom instructions in the right way, this will completely transform your ChatGPT workflow. Let me show you a quick example. So all ChatGPT users can now get custom instructions. First, you have to open up your sidebar, head to the bottom left-hand corner, and then you can select custom instructions. And then these two boxes will appear. In order to actually start typing in these boxes, what you need to do is you need to make sure that this is enabled. If it's not enabled, then you will not have the ability to type in here. So first you must enable it and then you can start typing. The first question is, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? The second question is, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So when you enable custom instructions and you put information within these two spaces, the output of ChatGPT will change dramatically. So you could go through all of these thought starters and change these yourself to have ChatGPT tailored to your situation, or whenever you're dealing with a problem, you could fill out these two boxes in order to help you with it. As you can see, I created this database on Notion with over 300 different custom personas. So whenever I'm dealing with a problem, I can click into one of the 10 categories I'm dealing with and find something in order to help with my problem. Let's say I needed help copywriting. Well, what I could do is I could copy this to clipboard and then paste it in here. And now ChatGPT is thinking like a professional copywriter. So this completely transforms ChatGPT in a matter of seconds. For how would I like ChatGPT to respond, I can copy those to the clipboard. And now it's responding like a professional copywriter as well. So now when I have a copywriting question, ChatGPT will be tailored to this copywriter role. Let's say I want to develop a morning yoga routine. What I could do is I could use one of the yoga instructor personas within my persona database in order to help me craft that. So what I could do is I could head over to the fitness category, click on yoga instructor, and now I can just copy these into the corresponding boxes for the custom instructions. So now ChatGPT is thinking like a yoga instructor and the responses will be much better. And then I sent off this prompt, create me a 30 minute yoga routine and I have the custom instructions enabled. So as you can see with the custom instructions enabled, it gives me a bunch of different yoga workouts and it doesn't just give me the workouts, but it tells me how to do the workouts. And then this is where custom instructions really becomes powerful. It gives me a nice key tips section and some resource links that I can use. And then it asks me a follow-up question, which is huge. Without custom instructions enabled, this bottom section is not happening. If you're interested in getting those 300 personas, I will leave a link in the description or the top end comment. ChatGPT hack number three is to summarize long form YouTube videos on ChatGPT in a matter of about 30 seconds. And this works on every channel on YouTube except for AI Foundations. Now it does actually work on this channel too, but I would highly appreciate it if you watched until the end of this video. So if it's your first time with plugins, what you wanna do is you wanna open up your sidebar, head down to the bottom left, go to settings and beta, beta features, and then you want to activate the plugins. You can also activate this one right here, but right now we are going to be focusing on the plugins. So after you have it activated, you can close your sidebar, Hover over GPT-4 and then select the plugin section. After that, you can go to where it says no plugins enabled and scroll down until you see plugin store. And then in this search bar right here, you just want to type in AI video summarizer and you can just type it out. And then right here is the one that you will want. There will be a green button that says install. I already have it installed, but go ahead and install that. After you have it installed, what you can do is you can go to where it says no plugins enabled once again. And then once you find it, what you wanna do is activate it. And now, as you can see, I have this plugin activated. 
So now go find the video that you would like to summarize. Let's say I'm watching this 25 ways to save time in ChatGPT video on my channel. What I could do is I could copy this URL by hitting Control C, and then I could send off a prompt like, give me the 25 time-saving ChatGPT tips from this video. And then I can paste the URL, and now ChatGPT will actually use this plugin in order to generate the 25 time-saving tips from this video. As you can see, it says using AI video summarizer. And then it says this video transcript is too long for me to process in one go. So after it generates all of these tips, we can ask it to actually continue with the transcript and mention the rest of the tips. As you can see, it starts off by giving me 15 of the 25 tips. If I wanted to, I could ask it to go in depth on any of these tips, or I could ask it to continue down the list with the other 10. But ironically, this is a great way to save time in ChatGPT, is using this plugin to summarize long YouTube videos. ChatGPT hack number four allows you to create real-time graphs from advanced computation. Now this is very useful if you like doing any sort of research, if you're a student, independent researcher, no matter what you do, this ChatGPT hack is very amazing to see. So just like before, we are going to be using a ChatGPT plugin, and this plugin is called Wolfram. If you don't have this already, head over to the plugin store and just search for the Wolfram plugin. And as you can see, it will pop up right here with this red image. You can hit install. And once you have it installed, scroll down and activate it. And now that I have it activated, I can ask it some questions like, show me recent earthquakes in Indonesia. And when I send that off, it will use this plugin in order to show me the recent earthquakes within Indonesia. As you can see, it gives me a nice timeline of all of the earthquakes in Indonesia to date. Today is September 11th, and as you can see, it's going all the way up to September 11th. It gives me tables of the magnitude. I can see a nice timeline up here with colors, and then it gives me actually the exact time and date that that earthquake took place and the exact location. And this information is updated all of the time. If you head over to this page on wolfram.com, you can see all sorts of the things that you can do with this Wolfram plugin. It's truly amazing. You can create music key signatures, you can get images of the thyroid gland, uh, all sorts of graphs and trees and different evolutions of characters, maps, function plotting, geometry, movies, word puzzles, uh, number systems. So the list goes on when it comes to using this plugin. And finally, ChatGPT hack number five is to actually talk to ChatGPT. And not only will it type out the words that you're saying into ChatGPT and send it off, but it will respond to you using a human-like voice. So this gets very, very cool. And it's interesting to actually have a conversation with this chat bot. So let's get into it and I can show you how to set it up. Step number one is to go to talk to ChatGPT and hit add to Chrome. I will leave a link to this in the description. Then you wanna hit add extension. And now once you head over to ChatGPT, there's going to be a box in the upper right hand corner that says talk to ChatGPT and where you can hit start. So what you can do is you can hit that start button and then allow microphone access. And next, what I recommend doing is going onto the talk to ChatGPT settings by hitting that button in the right corner and then checking this box to use 11 Labs API for text to speech. 11 Labs is wonderful at text to speech and this can really start to make ChatGPT sound more human. Next, you can head over to 11labs.io and create a free account. And once you've created your free account, head up to your profile in the upper right hand corner and select profile. Then you can actually use your API key here. You can copy it and paste it over here into the 11 Labs API key in order to get a lot better voices within this talk to ChatGPT. So it's going to start to sound very real and it makes the experience much better. So go ahead and copy your API key. And once you have it copied, you can paste it in this 11 Labs API key box. And now you can go down to 11 Labs voice and you have all of these new voices in here. So I'll just click on Emily's voice, for example, and then I can hit save. Now I can just refresh the page in order to get a fresh start. And now the 11 Labs API key is hooked up with this new Emily voice. So now when I hit start, I can actually start talking to ChatGPT and it will respond back to me in that voice. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Tell me a joke. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Thank you for telling me that joke. You're welcome. If you ever need another laugh or any information, just let me know. Have a great day. 
So as you can see, this gets very cool and it's almost like you have a virtual assistant with you. And once this starts to get a little bit more advanced, I'm sure that this will be much more useful. So that talk to chat GPT hack is very fun to mess around with and I recommend you give it a shot. With that being said, I hope you can use these five chat GPT hacks that I've provided in this video in order to help supercharge your chat GPT workspace. If you really wanna learn about chat GPT though, the in-depth start to finish A to Z guide, then I recommend purchasing my chat GPT mastery course. I will leave a link to that in the top end comment or the description below. You can click on that and learn a little bit more information about ChatGPT. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.